Um, what we need to do now is we need to create a variable. We'll call it terms. And terms will be equal to the explode function. And the explode function takes two parameters. The first parameter is what value you want to split your, your you want to explode your um, value, your uh, your k, your terms at, um, and we want to split it at every space. And what you want to split is the k variable. So that will give us um, all of that. So if we now, um, just to show what this looks like, um, because it'll create an array, and if we just echo out our terms variable, after it's exploded, it'll just say array, because we've created an array. Now, since this is an array, we need to loop through each of the arrays to be able to, um, or each value in the array to get each search term. So to do that, we want to say for each, and we're going to use the for each, I guess you'd call it a function, it's more of a, a loop. Um, but we're going to use for each, and it takes, um, I believe it's only one parameter, uh, but it can be relatively long. So we want to, for each, let's say, um, for each terms, um, as each. So, doesn't really make too much sense. But essentially, this is saying we want to continuously loop through our terms variable or our array, um, and we want to grab each item in the array. So each each um, search term in the array will be named each. So if we echo out each, and I'm going to go ahead and throw these on a new line. If we echo out each um, each time we will have our search terms. So, since we only have one search term here, um, say if we added in Google as a search term, we have these as our search terms, so it's echoing all of them out. So, we can get rid of that echo statement. So, what we are going to do inside of this for each uh, loop is we're going to pretty much start constructing the, the main part of our query that we're going to run through the database after we connect and everything um, but we're just assembling the query first, and then we're going to connect and run it. So, our query, uh, since we're going to um, loop through each time uh, and most likely have multiple values in our array, uh, we need to create a second, uh, a third variable inside of this um, statement here. And we're going to name it i. Now, i, a dollar sign i, or an i variable, is just a temporary variable or a throwaway variable um, that we just create and just do what we need to do and then pretty much never use it again. Um, and it's commonly used inside of arrays. So we're going to say i plus plus. So that is our first line. So that's just saying we're going to take our i variable, which currently is set to nothing the first time it loops through, and we're going to plus plus or plus one plus equals one. Um, and we're going to add one to our i variable. So Right now, i equals 1. So, we're going to create an if statement. We're going to say if dollar sign i equals equals 1. So, if i equals 1, and then we're going to have our else. And so, our if the i is 1, that means this is the first time we are looping through um, this, this uh, statement here. And we want to say query dot equals, and we're going to put in quotation marks. Now, this query is going to be very similar to what we're going to have down here. And right now, like I said, we're just constructing the query. Um, so normally, in a query, can get rid of this extra space here. In a query, we have say select all from search where blank equals blank, right? So that would be our the core part of the query. Now, because of how we are constructing a query for the search engine, what it needs to do is we need to take the core of, this, of the query, which is select all from search, which is our table name, 
So it's going to select all our information from the database. Then what we want to do is we want to say um, where, so select all from search where, and we want since we want to search through our keywords, we want to say where keywords equals our search term one, right? But what if we have multiple search terms, which is why we are doing our for each statement here. So essentially, it's going to take this uh, this keywords here and just append. That's what this dot equals means. It's going to append uh, these terms on to our query. So it's building our query. Now, this term one, this is our each term. Um, but we don't want to say where it equals because then it will search through our database and try to find where the keywords is just equal to that search term. And it doesn't really work out because uh, keywords are generally lots of words or sentences that the post may contain or the, the whatever data may contain. So what we want to do is we want to say where keywords like and then our each variable. So we have each and then make sure you have that space there at the end. Uh, now this may not make too much sense so far at least for creating the query um, but it will make sense later. So inside of our else here where so um, this is the the second term or the third or the fourth or so on and so forth so we don't want it to be keywords like keywords keywords like keywords or keywords like each 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 and so on and so forth um, because that will create an error within the PHP code so we want to say or keywords like and then our each term which I just realized is an extra dollar sign so we have keywords like each keywords like each so and I may have just confused you so we are going to echo the query so if I refresh the page here and since it's an undefined variable of I um, we're getting an error there but so we're selecting all from search where keywords like Nick Frosty or keywords like Google now if our first if we only have one search term of Nick Frosty we should have where keywords like Nick Frosty so if we add in uh, lots of other terms we have all of these so or keywords like that or like this or like that or like that or like that so everything there is working and we're constructing our query properly so now that we have constructed the query we need to actually connect to our database so to connect to our database we're gonna run the mysql connect function and uh, it takes three parameters of um, your server address in most cases it will be localhost your password which in my case is root or the username, sorry, the username which in my case is root and then the password which in my case is password then we want to uh, use the mysql underscore select underscore db uh, function and that will select our database which in my case is tutorials so we've connected to the database now we need to disconnect and it's always good coding practice to disconnect from your database just in case so now that we've connected to our database we need to actually run our query so query equals mysql underscore query and instead of typing in our query here what we're going to do is we're simply going to put in our query variable since we've already constructed it up here so that's going to run our query then we need to determine the num rows or the total search results. So I believe that's what most search engines put. Um, so our num rows, we're going to get our query inside of here. So as I've explained in numerous other tutorials, the MySQL num rows function will take your query and tell you how many rows or the number of rows, hence the name, uh, the number of rows that are found with positive data. So, yeah, so essentially how many search results we'll have. Now, if we don't have any search results, um, you can always echo 
just a simple statement. Say, um, no uh, results found for, and then I'm going to put in bold tags and our k term. Now I'm going to put in quotation marks around this, but to put in quotation marks within an echo statement that uses quotation marks, you have to use the backslash character, which means a special character is following. Um, yeah, not really important or the point of this tutorial, but just so you know. So we want to say if num rows is greater than zero. So if we have any results returned, then we want to go ahead and get all that information. So we need to create a while loop so we can continuously loop through and grab all that information. Um, our while loop will be row equals mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock and the parameter inside is our query. So the fetch a sock will uh, the fetch a sock function will create a, an array like we used earlier but it's sort of a little bit different um, and will let us get all the information uh, about the items found in the database. So um, what we're going to need to grab is I'm just going to go ahead and grab everything out of the database and as I've shown before this is the setup for getting information out of the fetch sock array so our variable and then um, our brackets and quotation marks so we want to get our ID our title the description keywords which we're not really going to need but I'm just grabbing everything and link so Go ahead and just copy all this. Okay, so now that we've gotten everything there, what we want to do is really we can just echo all this information out. So I'm going to use the uh, header2 tag, or the h2 tag, and I'm going to echo out the title. Now the title is going to become a link to our link variable. So a href equals dollar sign link make sure you end it and then afterwards we are going to have our description and then uh, we're gonna have some line breaks and that's pretty much the display of it so really simple so if we go ahead and refresh this page here you can see we have no cer no results found for Nick Frosty and uh, why is that Oh, because I spelled Nick Frosty wrong. Whoops. And it's been so long. Go ahead and just fix that. Spelled my name wrong. It's pretty sad. So if we refresh, and looks like there's another problem. Um, oh, and the reason is because I forgot to put in the parentheses. Oh, not parentheses, sorry. Um, the uh, percentage sign, um, so or modulus, it's also referred to in uh, programming, is that inside of our single quotation marks in our um, query building, we need to put in uh, parentheses. Damn it, I said parentheses again. Sorry, percentage sign. So if we fix that and refresh, you can see we have our information displayed, so Nick Frosty. If we search for Google. Then we have Google Display. If we search for Search Engine, we have Google and Yahoo because um, we have those as parameters inside of those. So if we search for Web, we get all three of them because all three of them have the word Web somewhere in their keywords. So that is how to create a search engine. Uh, this concludes my tutorial. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.